now been officially 24 hours since I gave birth to Jude and yesterday was honestly like just the most uneventful day I literally just like slept the whole day I had him at what time was it 10 25 p.m and then we went to sleep at like one after the midwives had like cleaned up and left my adrenaline levels were just so high i literally just like laid awake and stared at him for like hours after he came out um so yesterday we just like hung out and slept and tried to get our bearings under us a little bit just with recovery and stuff like that and today i feel like it's still going to be a very chill day it's been like literally only 24 hours since I gave birth. Still gonna hang out in bed a lot, but the midwife is gonna come over and do like the next newborn examination. And I feel like for myself, it's just helpful to get up, get ready a little bit more to just, again, like feel like a human being. So far, um, Jude is like the sweetest baby. He's so gentle. He's just like really, really cuddly and wants to be held all of the time and like wants to breastfeed really, really often. And that has been like just a very different experience than what we had with Vivian. He's eating more like every like one hour or one and a half to two hours and kind of like snacking a little bit and then like wanting off and then wanting back on again. Last night we were up like at least every hour. We're both sleepy today, but we're gonna roll with it. I want to be more present even with Vivian today too because I feel like she's doing well with the transition so far. And it's been so nice having like Jared's family here for support, but I can tell that she's like feeling it, like she misses us. And so I don't know what that's gonna look like today, if it's just gonna be like cuddling with her in bed or hanging out or whatever, but I do want to spend a little bit more time just like making sure that she knows that she's still like seen and loved today as well. So that's kind of the game plan. In terms of like postpartum recovery and how I'm feeling with all of that right now, I'm actually feeling like pretty good. It was like shocking to me that I was able to just get up after birth out of the birth tub and get into bed and get stitched and still be like present and talking and laughing through all of that. And I think a lot of it just is because of the fact that it was in water. I didn't tear that much. I did have like a very, very small, they said, first degree tear through the skin, but not through the muscle just because I did push him out really quickly. It was like, 10 minutes of pushing, but one contraction that he, like his entire body came out. So they said like, if I had waited maybe for the next contraction, which is like easier said than done, that I might not have torn, but whatever, it is what it is. It doesn't hurt too much. I feel like it's just like my butt, the pressure is painful from like having pushed. Um, but all that to say, I am feeling pretty good like postpartum wise. So that has been really nice. Down here, I have like my postpartum pads that I've been refilling as well as the Freedom Mom disposable underwear. Um, I also just have this like little witch hazel that I haven't used yet, but I've just left in here for now in case I do want that in the Perry bottle. And then in here is like sits bath, like postpartum um, sits bath stuff in case I do want to use that. I haven't gone into any of it yet. And then up here is all I've really used for like the downstairs kind of care. And so this is the Free to Mom Perry bottle that I absolutely love. I do have that one from the midwife, but I just prefer the way that this one is angled. I feel like this one doesn't actually like reach anything. And it's hard to explain that until you like need it to, but this one is incredible. And then I have Clearoderm, which I always spray. And I sprayed like before I gave birth as well. Um, just kind of down there to help with the perineum, like preparation and healing. And then this has been like my MVP this time. I'm so grateful for everyone in America that like put me onto these because we hadn't had them in Canada for the longest time. And I prefer them so much more than the postpartum ice packs for recovery. So I've really been liking that. Um, I just wanted to let you know, I'm just popping by the clinic to pick up a couple of things for our visit. And then okay. I was hoping to you call your place, I'd say like within the next half hour or so, if okay. that's okay. Yep, that works. I wonder if we should like change his diaper and get him before. Can you give me a needle in my leg? Oh, thank you. You're such a good midwife. There you go. Oh. 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 Oh.
That's okay. And I think if he's, if yeah, if he's a tiny pee, that's okay. We usually weigh him with a clean diaper. So baby passed all of his tests, which is great. His billy levels were, billy levels, <laughs> billy levels were a little bit high, which is like what they used to test for jaundice. Um, but they'll be back on Friday. And they said that it wasn't in like the high risk zone. So they're just going to check again on Friday. Um, and we'll get like a better reading then. But it's been so nice, you guys, like not having to leave the house for appointments and things like that. And just having the same person come back here. And being able to just like breastfeed in bed through all of the blood work and everything has been so lovely. So he's doing well. I'm doing well. I'm going to get some food in me because I feel like my milk is probably coming in soon. I've noticed that when he eats, it sounds like he's gulping a little bit more. So I know the consistency is like changing a little bit. Um, and I just know that that's going to be wild tonight. It's when your milk comes in that the hormones kick in and you get like weepy and just like crazy. So I'm enjoying my last final hours before I am literally feeling psycho tonight. Even with the cluster feeding, I feel like it hasn't been nearly as painful this time. I have been using the silverettes. I haven't been using any like lotions or creams or anything like that on my nipples. It's just been the silverettes. And I have like had very minimal pain, which I'm very grateful for. So I just like put them into the nursing bra every time he's done and have just like left them on overnight and throughout the day. And so far so good. I'll report back on whether there's like any like cracking or bleeding, but I think that they are working, which is really exciting. Thank you. Um, maybe I'll put him in the snuggle me for a minute. getting some good skin to skin time and I am going to go and hang out with Viv for a little bit. That's what my belly's currently looking like. We are adjusting. The organs are going back into position. You say hi. You say we're matching. Hey. Nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you blow a kiss? <laughs> laying down for naps but now I can't sleep because his eyes are so wide open and he's so cute I have to show you guys <laughs> Give me a little smile. did you have a nice nap with that Viv is also down napping right now too until probably like I'd say 30 or 40 more minutes so I actually do need to go to sleep if I'm going to nap at all today because it's about to get loud again in the next few minutes. But I find that like every time I actually lay down, I just want to like look at him or be on my phone. So I'm going to try and do that now. But I think that my milk is going to be in in like the next few hours because like my boobs are starting to get like warm and they feel like something is changing. It's about to get real hormonal in here. <laughs> So I'm just chilling here enjoying some of the newborn snuggles. I think my milk just came in because I was just feeding him and when I like switched to the other side a bunch of milk like came out of my nursing bra 
and out of the like little silverette cup and it's not colostrum anymore so one of the things that i can definitely confirm is that it is more painful breastfeeding like in terms of the contractions and stuff after you've already had a baby because with my first i felt that a little bit but i feel a lot more now with him every time you breastfeed with the like subsequent pregnancies your uterus is like i think it's just contracting back down more to size and it's been stretched out larger so it has been a little bit painful i feel like i am in labor again a lot of the time when i breastfeed but Obviously, I know it's just my body doing its thing, so it's not like as concerning or anything, but little baby boy is doing so well. He's just a happy, healthy guy. He weighed, I think, I don't know if we have it on camera or not, but he weighed eight pounds, I think six ounces when we got him weighed today and kind of measured. So not too much weight loss, which is good. He's been eating lots, so I'm not surprised. I've actually been able to get up a little bit more than I was thinking today. I feel like this vlog is going to be kind of boring because I'm spending so much of it in bed, but like I had a baby less than 48 hours ago. So that's like what you're supposed to be doing is just staying in bed with your baby as much as possible and like snuggling and doing skin to skin and practicing with breastfeeding. Um, but we do have some help here, which has been amazing. Like right now, Vivian is outside with her grandpa, which is on Jared's side. And they're like playing hide and seek out there. We have dinner in the oven because Jared's mom is also here and helping just like get that stuff coordinated. So because I was able to get up a little bit today, I was able to like get some laundry done. And that was really nice because I feel like that's been one thing of just being at home is like, the amount of laundry that we're creating between like me being postpartum him vivian our family just in general like there has been a lot of laundry so i was able to get some of that stuff done and that felt good to be able to just like actually move around and stuff but i am forcing myself to try and stay in bed as much as possible because i know that that's just going to make recovery easier down the line i have also felt now that like in both postpartum experiences that food is like the most significant help that you can get meals are just like so important because you're so hungry your body needs fuel to be able to like breastfeed and to recover and the last thing that you want to do is like be standing or cooking or anything like that if you can like ask for help from other people with like a meal train if you have community or friends or family that can like band together with that that is another huge thing of just having different people like step in to actually drop food to your house that has been like just such a blessing to us i know so there is like an actual meal train website that is designed for that definitely look into it because if you can take that one thing like off of your plate and not have to worry about it you will be so happy when you get to the actual postpartum stage always working <laughs> he's sleeping so much right now uh, i know i and I'm like tempted to feel like if I try and wake him up that it will change it, but I know that it won't. You just have to be like mentally ready to do that again. Be awake all night? <laughs> yeah. I need to sleep tonight though because dad and I are starting the basement tomorrow. Oh, yeah. So hopefully I can get some good sleep tonight because there's lots of work ahead of us starting Yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be wild. I'm nervous to have both of them. Yeah. Even just for like a couple hours in the morning, but it's nice that we have help here. Well, I think I'm going to take a shower and end this vlog here. <laughs> I, I've like been showering, but I haven't been washing my hair. And I feel like that is the, I hate washing my hair because it's such like a big thing to do to like have it dried and done and whatever. And I'm probably just going to let it air dry, but I need to like actually wash my hair. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> Yes. And then I kind of want to go to bed early and see if I can get some sleep on the front end before tonight. And yeah, do I don't that. know if that's actually going to happen, but I'm going to do my very best. So thank you guys for watching this vlog and just being with us in the behind the scenes of a very raw second day of life for our baby. He's not even 48 hours yet, so... We're just figuring it out. I was saying, like, I feel like this vlog is going to be kind of boring because, like, we're literally just laying in bed. <laughs> that's just what you do when you have a yeah. a baby that's not even two days old If yet. you're able so, to. Yeah. That's, like, a privilege, obviously, to yeah. be able to do that. But that is, like, the, the goal and the best thing. So, yeah. thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe if you want to 
Follow. Oh, look how cute he is. Follow along with more <laughs> just real postpartum and motherhood content like this for the next couple weeks. And yeah, until my next video, we love you guys. Praying for you guys, and we'll see you soon. Why sweat? Because it was in my boob. Is that milk? Yeah. <laughs>